So we're going to talk about the absolute best remedy or antidote for Tylenol poisoning. Another name for Tylenol or the generic version of Tylenol is acetaminophen. And there's such a thing as acetaminophen induced liver injury, especially if you take large amounts of it either by accident or on purpose. Uh, over 70,000 people are hospitalized from taking too much of this. And over 300 people a year die of Tylenol poisoning. So what does Tylenol do to the body? Well, it destroys the liver cells. And one of the best antioxidants for the liver that helps protect against damage is glutathione. But the remedy or antidote you need to take, which is widely accepted by the medical field, is NAC. And that stands for N-acetylcysteine. NAC is a precursor or a building block for glutathione. And I would also recommend taking glutamine with that, which is not a necessity, but it's something that can actually help bolster the glutathione. But glutathione is the most powerful antioxidant for the liver. Your body actually makes it, and it protects the liver cells against free radical damage and poisons. And so it decreases the side effects from things that are poisonous to the liver. Now, as far as the amounts that you would take, if you had a large exposure to Tylenol, would be 140 milligrams per kilogram of your own body weight. So if you weighed 150 pounds, that would be 68 kilograms, you would need to take 9,520 milligrams, okay? Now normally NAC comes at about 1,000 milligrams, so you would take nine pills right off the bat. So you wanna cut this in half, so you'd wanna take like 5,000 milligrams, which is five pills, every four hours, 17 times. Now. This protocol is mainly for people that had uh, a tremendous amount of Tylenol, like it's a very toxic dosage. So if you don't take that much, and for some reason you need to take Tylenol because you have serious migraines and you've tried everything else, yet you're not taking this massive toxic dosage, I would recommend something like maybe one to 2,000 milligrams every four hours for a 24-hour period after you get the headache. This can actually help minimize and counter some of the destructive nature of this chemical. I just want to mention Rye syndrome. Now, Rye syndrome mainly affects children, not adults, and it's not from Tylenol, it's from aspirin, okay? And other things as well, like viruses. But if you know of anyone that actually has this disorder, I put a link down below because this is very important. You'd want to give that child a lot of B1 like 750 milligrams, which is way over the RDAs. But this has been known to help counter a lot of the effects. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.